guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Arissa and this is Arissa Root Art. And today I am doing a straight pour on a 24 by 30, 24 by 30 inch canvas. It's a level three gallery wrap. I have tape on the bottom, I have big giant push pins on the bottom and I sprayed it so it's nice and tight. And so my colors today are super pretty but they are mainly blues. So I'm gonna really have to make sure I layer this well enough to where I don't have a bunch of um, things looking too monochromatic. And with regard to what I mixed my paints with, I will put it in the description box below because some of these are pigments, so they're mixed with some different things. So I will tell you in the description box below what I mixed everything with. So first color, Artist Loft Floor Acrylic White, soft body white now, but to it, I added a little bit of the Bare Paint Plus Primer and the um, Satin Enamel. It's got a lot of bubbles in it, so I'm gonna be torching this thing. I just mixed these paints. Ooh. The next color is the, what is this called? This is the Pearl White by Modern Masters. And then I have, this is my primary element pigment. This is called Guatemalan Green. Super pretty color. And then I have another pigment. This is the Royal Sapphire by, I'm sorry, this is not a pigment. This is a prism pour. There's a chunk. Get it out while I can. There's like a fiber. This uh, probably wood fiber. You have to be careful with these sticks. Sometimes there's fibers on them that come off. So this is a primary element. This is the um, Royal Sapphire. So pretty. And then I have the Water Dragon. This is a new prison pour. It hasn't come out with um, full bottles yet, but I got a sample pack, which is really cool and so pretty. And there's a whole bunch of lovely colors in that 12 pack. Beautiful colors. And then my final blue is called Black Emerald, actually. This is a color art pigment, and I am absolutely in love with this color. It's such a pretty, pretty bluish green. There's an undertone, certainly. There's um, a green shift in it, and it's so pretty. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you can see that at all, but it's really pretty. <laughs> and then I have the Peach Dahlia by Prism Pour. This is one of my favorite of my latest Prism Pour colors. Love this color. Oh, it's so rich and beautiful. And then this color here, this is a mix. I'm not, it's too full for me to pull it up too much. I'll do it a little bit. This is a mix of Prussian Blue by Amsterdam and the Neon Pink by Artist Loft and the Reflex Rose by Amsterdam. I just wanted a purple, but I didn't want it I didn't want to use purple and I already had some of the blue in my cup. <laughs> so I made it purple, but I wanted it bright. So I didn't just add red. And then this one is a mix of the iridescent precious gold by Pebio with a little bit of a, um, a little bit of 24 karat gold and just a touch of a fire opal mix that I made. That was just a bunch of different colors. And this is the fire opal color I made and I put it in there to orange it up a bit because orange and blue goes really well together. So I am gonna layer my cups. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of gold in the bottom of each. If you, I know, I don't know if you guys want me to fast forward. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm just gonna talk and then I'll see how long the video is. And if it's too long, I'll fast forward through this part. How about that? <laughs> Cause I never know. Sometimes people wanna hear, sometimes they don't. It is a confusing thing to figure, try to figure out. I'm gonna layer my cups the exact same way each time. Just getting bigger and bigger with my layers and I'm definitely going to try to separate my dark blues and my light blues as much as possible. So a couple of friends and I went hiking yesterday and it was so beautiful. The fall colors were out. I live in Washington State if that does, um, if you haven't if you don't know that the fall colors were out on the mountain we went to Mount Rainier and the colors were so superbly beautiful. And um, we saw like a, a, a baby deer that was an older baby deer, but it was spotted like a cow. It was the cutest little thing. Maybe I'll try to remember to put some pictures on the top, here, on the back of this video. Put a little more gold here um, because it was so cute. And then we saw marmots, which I've never seen before. They're like big giant rats, but they're really cute little big giant rats. And we saw um, 
a black bear. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. This bear was sitting there eating berries. So of course, everybody on the trail was like, oh my gosh, it's a black bear. And we we're taking pictures. Well, this thing is only like 15 feet, maybe away from us, 15 or 20 feet. And we're just dummies out there just taking pictures because it's super cool. And the bear is just kind of looking at us and trying to go back about its business. And, and we're just taking pictures. <laughs> and so we finally hear um, the park ranger go, you know, guys, if the bear is, if you're that close to the bear, you should probably go away. And we're like, oh, oh yeah. He goes, yeah, bears charge at like 40 miles an hour. So he'll get you. <laughs> we were like, oh, you're right. We should probably go. <laughs> And so we left, but the bear was so cute. This big old face, he was a big bear. I don't know if it's a girl or boy, but it was a big old bear. And he was trying to fill up for the sun, for the winter. That hibernation's coming quickly. But oh man, it was such a beautiful hike. I will try to remember to throw some pictures in because you guys, you, you guys, you don't even know. It's so pretty here. Oh, I love this state so much. And I love hiking, so. I'm gonna take these off because they're getting a little heavy and I don't want them making my painting sag, essentially. I'm gonna throw some of the purple in because it's the only color I have, aside from the white, that has no shimmer or metallic to it. So this is gonna be a very bright painting, <laughs> very shimmery. And I'm probably putting way too much paint in it, but it's really pretty and I, I love the colors. So I'm just gonna do that. And I'm gonna put a couple of puddles down of some different colors and I'm glad to have some extra. I'm gonna to top it off with some white, I think, because I know I'm gonna need these as a flow extender. There we go. And anything else? How many rows of this pink? I'm gonna throw some more pink in there just because I don't have too much in there. Of the peach, I should say. The colors, they're so pretty. And maybe a touch of gold, because I like gold. It's pretty. And then I'll put the gold down as the puddle. But look at that cup. It's so pretty. Look at the sides. Oh my gosh, I love them. So let's get this down. And just smooth that out a bit so it doesn't add bumps. I'm gonna put two puddles of gold. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the um I'm gonna pour the colors right into this, so right next to one another. And there we go. Maybe I'll throw a little bit of white in there too, just so I have that satin enamel or that satin down there too. Oh, I guess I had some blue from the side of the cup. There we go. Alrighty, I'm gonna pour with my right hand first because I'm not left-handed and I'm gonna end up pouring with my left hand, but I'm gonna pour with my right hand first. So let's get these this pour. I'm just gonna do a straight pour. Let me twist and turn my wrist a little bit, but no um, rings at all. go. I'm going to get a palette knife. It's a dirty palette knife. There's, palette knife. There's this one spot here that's just white and I want to put it into the painting. There's just like a chunk of white that came out. All right. So, oh, that cup is so pretty. I'm going left-handed on this one. Wish me luck. That white and gold on the end. Sorry if you can't see it beyond my hand. Get these little last fingerlings out. Catch my drip. Let's 
stretchy. Knock it off. There we go. <laughs> oh, so pretty. So I'm going to, what color? Do I want to use any of those colors that I have fully cinder? I don't think I do. So I'm going to thin out my white just a little bit with some spray here. I don't like it to be too much thinner than the base coat. But I do want it to be a little bit thinner. And then perhaps I'll throw some colors around it. I'll throw my pearl down too there. So that's now just a little bit thinner. Not bad at all. So I'll throw some of my Guatemalan green around it. And then my pearl, I think. Just kind of within the Guatemalan green. And then I'm gonna give it a torch. I want some more of this blue. I'll go some more of my black emerald too. There, that's enough. Let me move this. I'm gonna put my flow extender over and around. And then I'm gonna give it a torch. Slippery a little better. All right. There's plenty of paint on here, but I want the corners to really be able to accept paint. So I will wet those. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna use it to just wet the entire um, sides because I don't like pouring paint onto dry sides. So just really, really quick wetting of my sides just so it has something to slide over go. Those are all wet. I'm going to wipe my hands off. I'm going to put the towel here. All right, so that's had time to settle down a little bit, so I'm going to give it a quick torch, and then we'll tilt it out and see what we get. Get that out of the way. Lots of bubbles, like I said, because I just mixed these paints up today, uh, just now, for this. my flow extender a bit because I just added that water to it. All right, so which do I like first? I really like this side, so I may take it off of that side first. And I'm gonna move slowly since my flow extender is not all the way to the sides, but I do have the flow extender, the rings of color I put on there, so that will help it move. In fact, let me just do this really quickly. Paint, just paint against dry surfaces just doesn't behave well. It just likes to slide over itself. So if you have the time and you have the ability, just wet the canvas. It's just easier and it'll give you a better outcome across the board, in my opinion. But I'm no expert. You do whichever you feel you need to do for your art because everybody's art is wonderful and individual. So do you, boo. Let's do this. All right, you see the weight of the paint is right over there. So I'm just gonna go again slowly. I may not take it over the side completely yet, but slowly, you see how that blue ring is starting to now slide and not rolling my actual composition over? That's what you wanna do. Oh, so it may ring, roll over it a little bit, but the blue ring is not as important to me as the cells that I really like right there. There we go. And then it's getting my paint back to the center. I'm gonna give it a torch again. I can see some more bowls popping up. There we go. So I'm gonna go up to the left corner here. Mm, 
I'm just gonna roll over, but I'm just gonna go with it. Because my paints were thick, so sometimes it's harder to make your flow extender work, especially if you're going too quickly, like I just did there, but it's okay. I'm gonna turn my canvas. So you guys can continue to see what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna throw some more of my colors down just to save my composition on the bottom here. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna go up to the left first because I don't like that white as much, so I want that to roll off. So center my paint back in there. Let it catch that new blue flow extender and start to push. And I'm going to lower the angle of it. That way it pushes that more and spares the composition. Let that start to roll over and then go over the corner. And catch that as soon as I'm done and I like what I see. And take some of that white off, I think. There we go. Pull it back. Back to the center. There we go. And now up and right to this right corner. Moving slowly. We don't want to leave too much paint on there, but I also want to save my composition. So I will leave enough on there that I know it probably won't crack but I won't have to sacrifice my composition. There we go. And get that down to the corner. Turn it till that goes off. There we go. And I'm gonna hook it just a little bit more so I can open up those lines. There we go. Uh oh, totally just wiped it off on that corner. So I'll have to fix that, it hit my arm. <laughs> All right, and I don't want the center line perfectly straight. So let me clean off my arm quickly. So I'm gonna alter the center line by tilting it because I have to come off this corner. I kind of want to get rid of some of this. So I'm gonna let that happen and open up this stuff on this side over here. Go down, uh, down into this left side corner a little more. So it will fix my little mistake. And also this corner here, I'm not too partial with. So I'm gonna let that come off a little bit. I don't like that color. It feels muddy to me right there. And so now I'm gonna turn it a bit to get rid of that white there. Just until it goes off right there and then I'm going to turn it down so sorry you can't see for just a moment until I can hook off the, this corner and fix what I just took off over there there we go all right so I'm going to tilt it back now to the center and open up a little bit of this over here and center that line up just a little bit. I don't want it straight, but I don't want it so off to one side, the center line. It's really pretty. Now go down, because the weight of the paint is up by my face. Bring it back down to the center of the canvas, and then we'll be done. I'm gonna give it a quick torch. There we go. Oh, I love that center line, it's so pretty. And that green, that, um, Black emerald is so pretty in there. I'm gonna clean my gloves off. And I'm gonna have to clean up my uh, corners here. Fix them a bit. Get 
what paint is around there so it matches. You don't want to take paint from here and do this corner over here because you want to catch what's pouring off and it make it make it make sense for this corner. can get your design in there take a moment get like uh, because all this is got striation in it so I don't want to put it make a solid corner when it's all got striation in it I want striation on the corner like it poured that way a little white there there we go clean off your stick and go fix the next corner this one is really pretty I'm just gonna put some color there sense so I almost put a dark blue there where there was no dark blue so that wouldn't have made sense so I re poured it and like this one this one's pretty well covered but I just wanted to do that <laughs> all right so let me see about my bubbles I'll give it one more torch and then I'll bring you down and you can see what I see Let me get my gloves off. Oh, I love that center line. It's my favorite piece by far. But all the colors are so transparent. And you'll see how green it is. I don't know, let me see. Does it look green in the camera? I don't think it does. Because it looks blue to my eye unless I shift. Oh, I see the green. You see the green. All right, I'm gonna turn off my camera. I'll get you down and I'll show you guys. I will show you first with the lights on. Sorry about that overhead light, but you see how that green right there, if you shift colors, it looks blue. That's that black emerald and it's so pretty. And I love that center line, but I have a lot of little cells and the lines are really pretty in this. And the transparencies, because there's so many color art pigments and paints on them and who are the, when they're all transparent. Look at those lines, they're so pretty. The transparencies are really great. You can see all the colors within the colors and I love that layered look. Like, look at that. You can see so many colors right there. I absolutely love it. But then the colors stay true too. Love that part. It's so pretty. Oh, I love these colors. And I love this little wispy area right here. It's super pretty. And then all these cells that popped up largely because of bubbles, but I like them because they're really just kind of fun in there. And this part has a lot of transparency to it. But let me turn off the lights and I'll show you this with the light on. I'll be right So back. now we get to see all the shimmer. But I love the sides, they're super well covered. So look at all the shimmer in this. <laughs> it literally just glows with shimmer, it's so pretty. There's so many different parts in it that are so interesting. And I love how that gold looks with that fire opal light color that I made in there because it's really vibrant and I think it's beautiful. But oh my goodness, in this line, the center line here, the way it travels down, it makes me so happy. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And look at that though. You can see, it looks like, like fine hairs, but it also looks like it's maybe one color, but that way they come out and the way those lines are, have stayed there, I cannot wait to see how this dries. I think it's gonna be super cool. Absolutely stunning. And the color shift right there, you see how that looks really dark? And then you shift over and it gets lighter and it's like purple shades and all different kinds of shades in here. It's gorgeous and these little fingerlings, look at those lines, those are just awesome. Those are, that part right there, oh my gosh, I love it. Very, 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 very fun piece, very cool piece. And I think it's gonna dry wonderfully and I can't wait to show you guys the dry results. Not on this video probably, but on the next one, I will try to get those dry results in there for you. I'll try to be better about doing that, but oh, well, look at that. That looks like right there out of space. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> 
anyway, um, if you want to try this again, I will tell you what I mix these pigments with in the description below, because I think the mix really works for me and my pigments and my, um, paints, my prism pour paints, which are just like tube paints. So you can mix those just like you would any other tube paint. But if you want to try these primary elements in these prism pours by color art, remember to use my code Arisaru220. <laughs> I said that completely wrong. Arisaru221. I forget what year it what year it is. Arisaru221 at colorart.com. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna just put it up on the camera on the screen so you can read it because obviously I can't speak it. But good night, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.